Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Let's wait a little bit for the rest. Ingrid and Maria. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening, Maria. Hello, Dalila. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. The seat for cats. Okay, let us wait a little bit. So you see more people are just getting into the class. Lower this is just getting connected. Olga is just coming to the class. Good evening, Olga. Good evening, uh, Chrisia. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Hello, Claudia. Classmates. How are you? You're fine. Waiting for the rest. Tired, tired, very tired, really. Tired, tired. Okay. So go and get some coffee. You're going to get some strength. I don't like coffee. You don't like? No. Nah. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is a first Salvadorian person who says, I don't like coffee. Yes, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay, it's okay. But you can drink some soda, right? <laughs> but I wanted to be awakened in the class. For me, it's bad to uh, drink coffee in, oh, really, at, Carlos? in the night. It's not a good idea. Yes. Because you're not, you, you, you cannot sleep. I, yes, yes. Uh, what a problem, right? So I can't sleep if I if I don't drink coffee. So for me, it's the opposite. Good evening, Gabriela. Good evening, mister. Hello, welcome back. So we're almost starting. It's exactly it's a, a minute after eight, so we're going to wait only two minutes and we're going to start. Liliana is just getting into the class. Idalia is also trying to get connected. So people are just getting into this session. I have 15 people connected and that's a really good. Still waiting for the rest. Well, I will check with the team then. Remember that when now it goes so fast that Sometimes it seems as if 50 minutes is not enough. So that's why I try to check list attendance as soon as possible. So whenever you listen to your name, say hello, say I'm present, say I'm here. Alejandra Maria? Aristides Otoniel? Carlos David? I am here, teacher. Cesar Ivan? Claudia Margarita. Present teacher. Concepcion. Oh, I'm sorry, Lourdes, right? Lourdes. Lourdes not here yet. Uh, Dalila. Present teacher. Uh, Elena Marisol. Hello. Oh, hello, I'm here, I'm here. Who said I'm here? Dalila? No, Lourdes. Lourdes, I'm here. Okay. Concepcion de Lourdes. Okay, Lord. Thank you. Uh, then I say Elena Marisol. Present teacher. Good. Gabriela Novi. 
Present, Mr. Okay, Idalia Margarita. Present. Ileana Jeanette. Ileana. Jeanette. Ingrid Morena. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos López. I hear, teacher. Crisia Morena. I hear. Liliana Dolores. Present, teacher. Maria Magdalena. Present, teacher. Olga Lisset. Present, teacher. Okay, Olga, so here. Uh, Rina Margarita. And Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So, really nice. It's the first time I check the opinions. And... Alicia Flores, present. Sorry? Alicia I'm... Flores. Alicia Okay, Alicia Okay, welcome, Alicia Really Thank nice you. to know about you. Nice meeting you. I think this is the first time, right? No, this is the second time. Okay, nice meeting you, Aristides. Okay. Well, we're gonna see something that I have here. We're gonna start by a little bit differently with something that I have here. Remember, remember that we're gonna, we're, we're in charge of presenting the homework we started to deal with yesterday, right? So today, we're going to continue with it. But before going to that part, we're going to see some information about just to actually, it, it, it is a, a conversation that I want to share with you. I will share it with you in the chat. But you can see it by your own if you want. Uh, but I will do it at the end, not just right now, because I need to... I, I want you to pay attention to what we're going to listen to. Okay, over here we have the transcript. There is a conversation between Oliver and Daisy. And of course, we're going to be in church of uh, taking a look to simple past, used to activity, uh, used to structure stories. Okay, so you need to be aware about the way they are using it. Is that you see the conversation is a little bit long, but I consider it uh, worthy to see it. So let me know if you are able to listen to, because we're going to start just right now. Okay, we're going to start now. Oliver starts. Where's mum? I don't know. She called earlier and said she'd call back. She wants to speak to us both. Did she sound happy or serious? Happy. Is she finally going out with your head teacher? Ha, uh, I'm not sure. But I think they've been seeing each other for a while. He didn't used to wear nice clothes and recently he's looking quite cool. I wonder if she'll start travelling less. Maybe. She used to go away on really long trips, and these days it's maximum a week. Oh! Hi, Mum! Are you in London? Yes, surprise! Are you writing about London? Yes, I am. I'd forgotten how amazing it is, and it's near home. <laughs> so, do you have more reasons to stay near home these days? No. Like what? Never mind. I just thought that I'm always abroad, but we've got one of the most interesting cities in the world just an hour from home, and I've never even written about it. So here I am. I haven't been here to visit for years. It's nothing like it used to be. The record shop I always used to visit is now a really cool cafe specialising in bubble tea. So what else did you used to go to London for? For fun. For concerts and to buy new clothes. But it didn't used to be as busy as it is now. 
I love what they've done on the South Bank. I hadn't seen the London Eye close up before, and the Tate Modern's an impressive building with great views of the bit that used to be the docks. So is it all so different? No, not completely. The area near the river is very different, but the West End hasn't changed much. The theatres are still great, and Piccadilly Circus looks a little different than it used to. But it's still a meeting place, and the lights are still there. But I like the new London. So... Yes? I've booked hotel rooms for the three of us for this weekend, so you can get to know London a bit better. Cool! Wow! I'll book your train tickets now and call you back in an hour or so. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So actually, this is the conversation. Okay. It's a little bit long, but as I told you before, it's really worth it to see the information that's all in here. Okay. So let me see. Well, I will read a little bit quickly, and then you will tell me why you so, or tell me. It's better if you see it. It's better if you see it. Okay. Now, tell me, where do you see expressions with these two? I don't know. She called earlier and said she, she called back. She wants to speak to us both. Did she sound happy or serious? Happy. Is she finally going out with your head teacher? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think they've been seeing each other for um, a while. He didn't used to wear nice clothes and recently he's looking quite cool. Uh-huh. No new expression? New expressions? Okay, take a look at this, please. I want you to be familiarized with this. This is one expression that I want you to take into consideration, okay? Okay, he didn't used to wear nice clothes and recently he's looking quite good. I wonder if she'll start traveling less, maybe. Uh -huh. She used to go away on really long trips and this day it's maximum a quick. Oh, hi, mom. Are you in London? Yeah, surprise. Are you writing about London? Yes, I am. I've forgotten how amazing it is. And it's near home. Ha uh ha. -huh. So, you have more reasons to stay near home these days? No. Like what? Never mind. I just thought I'm always a bro, but we got one of the most interesting cities in the world. Just an hour from home, and I've never uh, even written about it. So, here I am. I haven't been here to visit for years. It's nothing like it used to be the record, the record shop I always used. I always used to visit. It's now a really cool cafe specializing in bubble tea. So, where else did you use? What else? Hey, look. Hey, what else did you use to go to land of four? So, this is the complete sentence. So what else do you used to go to London for? For fun, for concerts, and to buy new clothes, but it didn't use, it didn't, it didn't use to be as busy as it is now. I love what they've done on the South Bank. I hadn't seen the London I close up before the thing, uh, modern and impressive buildings, a building with great views, or the bit that used used to be the ducks. So is it also different? No, not completely. The area near the river is very different, but West End hasn't changed much. The theaters are still great and empty. Circus looks a little different than it used to be, or they used to, sorry. But uh, it's still a uh, meeting place and the lights are still there. But I like New London, so yes. I booked hotel rooms for the three of us for this weekend, so you can get to know London a bit better. Cool, wow. I look up, I book your train tickets now and call you back in an hour, so also, okay. Okay, you're right. So used to people, this is the topic. We used to 
plus verb for talking about states or actions that were true or happened in the past, but you see, they do not happen in the present. Once again, we use used to for plus verb for talking about states or actions that were to uh, happen in the past, but they are no longer true in the present. Okay, some examples. London's nothing like it used to be. She used to go away on really long trip. Okay, and then you are gonna see more right there. You use no, sorry. Why can you use the past simple? Well, you can, you can, of course. Okay, this is quite important. Well, we use uh, used to to talk about activities you repeatedly uh, did in the past. And that's why the question comes, why can you use the past simple? And this is the, the answer. Well, you can, of course you can, but we use used to, we emphasize that the state or action is true now or doesn't happen now. What about the negative? Well, in the negative, take a look at it. You use didn't, and if you see use, doesn't have the D. So something that you need to keep in mind. No, you don't have the D because you don't need it. That's why you use the auxiliary did. Okay, he didn't used to wear nice clothes. What else did you use to go? Okay, among other things. So I will play the video so that you can see the same information, okay? But, uh, well, this, ah, I told you, right, that I was going to share this link, and this link is going to be in Hamburg. <laughs> this is the for Hamburg. Um, look at the chat. You can get the link right there so that you can practice the conversation, okay? Now in here, as you can see, we are in the part that says statements with used to. There is a, a there is a, an objective and it says that uh, build English conversation as kids with the, pre, with the press used to, okay? And you, you will see the more information there, but that this is the main, the main goal. This is what we are looking for. Now, statement with used to. We saw some information there. Now we're gonna see this video and then we're gonna to try to practice a little bit. Pay attention. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm gonna start explaining how to structure these sentences together so let's do that right now let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about thanks for taking the time to speak with me Jerry oh it's my pleasure you have a beautiful accent where did you grow up I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. 
My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me Once present again, how with the information we're going to make statements negative statements. So previously to. we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. Now it's going to be in the present. And that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't. And then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present. And then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say, I didn't use to collect anything. But I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports. But now I play every day. 
So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. All right, childhood memories. That's what that is what the guy is trying to. To, and it's quite similar. So let me give. So present. So the information actually is the information I presented previously, right? The way to is used to uh, expressions in the negative and the positive statements, and also in questions, right? Okay. So any question about it? Hello, hello, hello. Any question about it? <clears throat> no. Everything's fine about you too. Well, we're gonna practice. I know that I will see the way we uh, practice uh, the used to expressions. Okay, give me one second. Okay, now I will, I will try to present the information very quickly, but in this case, you are going to participate actively because you are going to see some questions and then you are going to try to answer the, the, the questions right here. Used to is the topic. When do we use used to, people? When do we use it? When do we use it? When we use to, uh huh. When we want to refer something that we did regularly in the past. Ah, okay, so when we want to express ideas about the activities we did regularly in the past, but you don't do it in the present anymore. Okay. So what sport did you play when you were a, a little child? Question for the for the group, right? Anybody can answer here. What sport did you play when you were a little child? Only one person in the group, please. Thank mm. you, Crisia. I use uh. Thank you, Crisia. After Crisia, I don't know who was the one. Okay, Chrissy, go ahead. Um, I used to play, I used to play softball. I used to play softball, thank you. Now, who was the other person? Aristide? No. Who okay, so, I, no. Uh, Juan, okay, after Juan, there's a lady who wants to participate. Juan, Juan Carlos. Okay, I, I used to play I used to play baseball I when to. I was a child. When you were a child. Good. Anybody else? Me teacher, Wendy. Okay, Wendy, go ahead, Wendy. When I was a child, I used to play swimming. Ah, okay, you used to swim. Pretty good. Now let's go over to the next because you know. Why didn't you why didn't you like doing when you were a child? So this is different, right? Why didn't you like doing when you were a child? Why Me? didn't okay, thank you. Lower this, right? I didn't use to collect things when I was a child. Now I used to collect Tequila lights. Ah, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So people, uh, yeah, that's right. So in the past, I I think 
Uh, some children, the children like to collect some things, especially uh, toys, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So let us see the next one. Hey, when I was a child, I played basketball. This is another example that you can provide. When I was a child, I played soccer. I played basketball. I played volleyball. I played uh, hide and seek and whatever, right? So I used to play, okay, this may be the answer. I used to play basketball when I was a child. When I was a child, I hate eating cheese. I didn't like eating cheese. I used to hate eating cheese when I was a child. Now, pay attention to the structure. We are used to, to talk about our past habits and state. Positive, remember, used to plus a verb in the base form. Didn't used to, didn't used to, okay, it. Question, did you, did you used to? That is the question, right? So if you want to include, if we want to create a double H question, like the one we studied in the past, so we may say, we may say, why, maybe one, right? Why did you used to play football? Well, I love to play football because I consider it was my favorite sport, for example. Now, expressions that you can use. Which of the statements are true or false for you? When I was a little child, I used to play with toys. Now, did you used to play with toys, people? Yes. I used to play with toys. You used to play with toys. I used to be very noisy. <laughs> Now, who used to be very nice in the group? Me. You, Alejandra? Me, oh, oh, Eliana, Eliana. Ah, Olga, right? Okay. Crisia. Crisia used to be very nice. Yes. I love to talk. <laughs> and you love to talk a lot. And the teachers were angry because you... No, I... <laughs> no. <laughs> They didn't get angry at you. Okay, listen to this one. I used to eat a lot of vegetables. No, no one over here? I I didn't use to eat a lot of, veg of vegetables. Vegetables. You used to eat a lot of candy, one. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of candies, a lot of snacks. A lot of churritos. No, I used to eat a lot of fruit. A lot of fruit. Oh, that was a good option. Okay. I used to travel a lot. Somebody in the group? I used to be afraid of ghosts. Hey, don't tell me that you didn't used to be afraid of ghosts because I, I, I won't believe it. I used to be afraid of, this is me, people. I used to be afraid of ghosts. Teacher Kike, this is me. Okay. What about you? You know what? I used to be afraid of El Cipitillo. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> but no one is, no La one. Iguanawa. Uh, you, you, you used to be afraid of La Ciguanaba? Yes. Ah, oh, really? Well, in my case, I used to be afraid of El Cipitillo. Okay, but I'm not afraid about him anymore. Okay? I used to be afraid of La Llorona. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be afraid of La Llorona, right? Oh, oh.
Okay, so that, that was uh, the problem was that in the past a lot of people were saying like, hey, if you don't stop crying, La Llorona is coming and it's going to take you somewhere. Okay, that was the problem, right? But fortunately, we grew up. My childhood memories. Hey, I used to play with cards. Can somebody tell me something about it? No one? No, hey, no me. one is. Uh -huh. Tell me. No, me. I used to play with cards. Okay, Carlos. Carlos used to play with cards. I used to beat boys. Boy, boy. No one? What, what is the meaning of beat? Hit. I don't remember. Is to hit. Beat is to hit somebody. In this case, boys. Okay. It used to be boys. Okay. Okay, remember, do you remember to deactivate a microphone when, when you do not, when you're not participating? Hey, I used to live in Tokyo. Where did you used to live? Where I, did you I, used to live? I never used to live in Tokyo. Uh, I, I, I used to live in, in La Unión, Barrio Honduras. Uh -huh. Okay. What about you, Wendy? Well, we're going to move on. Pay attention. Now, do me the favor to write down uh, three sentences with these two. One of them should be false. Let your partners, let the, the rest of the participants guess which one is not true. Okay, vamos a hacer un ejercicio un poco rápido. Tres oraciones de uh, algunas actividades que ustedes solían hacer. Okay, una de ellas va a ser falsa. Una de las que ustedes creen va a ser falsa. Nosotros vamos a adivinar cuál de las tres es la, la que es falsa, ¿ok? Three minutes, ok. Three sentences, three minutes. ¿Ok? Later, I will check, I will check the homework.
three sentences, three minutes, okay? Let me know when you get ready. Okay, I think you are ready, right? No. Yeah. yeah, volunteers, please, volunteers. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Juan Carlos. And also, Carlos David. Okay, Juan Carlos, you start, and then uh, uh, Carlos David. Okay, and... Uh, uh, but... Okay, ¿Quién inicia? Okay. So, okay, Carlos David, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. Uh, um, for, three for three examples, uh, number one, uh, uh, I use, I used to eat pupusas. Number two, I used to jump from a parachute. A, and number three, I used to play with airplanes. That's all. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Which one is the is the false one? Because you included two, two, two statements that are true and one of them is false, right? Okay, uh, the false is uh, number two. Uh, what is number two? Uh, I used to jump from. Uh, I used to jump and uh, jump in parachutes. Okay. Jump okay. parachutes. Okay. Yeah, I think it's that. That's a very, a very uh scary experience. Okay, let's listen to Juan Carlos. Then we're gonna listen to Liliana and then to Elena. Juan Carlos, go ahead. Okay, thank you. And. In my school, I used to drive car. I used to play soccer, and I used to eat chicken rice. Okay, okay, Carlos, you used to drive uh, a car. Mm -hmm. Which is the false one, Carlos? This this is false. I used to drive car. You, you didn't use the drive car then. In my shield, in my shield, who no. <laughs> hey, no, I, no, you know, you know what? Drive. You know what? I once I saw a 10 year old child driving a car, and you know what? I'm 42 and I don't know how to drive a car. No, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for yeah. myself, but that is true. Liliana. Hi. Um, I used to walk to the school. I used to visit my family in Brazil. And I used to watch TV in the afternoons. Okay, which one do you think is the false, people? About Liliana? Two. 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 What is the I used to live, live in Brazil. Uh, she used to visit her family. Visit my Brazil. family in Brazil. Visit <laughs> Brazil. Okay. Is that it's the false, false one? No, false. It, it was not in Brazil. No. It, it was in in, uh, in France. No. Not, not really. Not. No. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Elena Marisol, go ahead. Okay. Sure. Um. Well, when I was a child. I used to play 
underwater soccer with my cousin. Number two, I used to travel to many countries. And number three, I used to visit my family very frequently. Very frequently, all right. Hey, which one do you consider is the false people? <laughs> Uh -huh. she, she used to travel to different countries. She used to travel yeah. to different countries. Is that the first one, number, Elena? Number two, yes. I yeah, the it. second yeah. one was the, the tricky I one. I only in my dream how ah, I travel at all. No, but that is true time. then. Because if it is in your mind, that is true for the person, that's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, when I want to travel to Japan, for example, I take my cell phone and then I see a video okay. about yeah. Japan, Japanese people. <laughs> okay, anybody else? No one else? Uh, Crisia wants. Okay, Crisia, go ahead. Okay, I used to defend my older sister. I used to swim every day and I never used to miss to the school. You never used to miss school. Uh, okay, the first one is you used to swim. No, I used to defend, defend my older sister. Ah, okay. You used to, but you don't do it anymore. Yeah, but now you don't do it anymore. No, 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 no. When and I no, was child. Ah, when you were a child, a child, yeah. a girl. Okay, the second one was that you used to swim. I used every day. to swim every day. Ah, that, I lost that information. And the third one? I never used to miss to the school. <laughs> okay, in my case, I think the, the third one is the false one. What do you think, no. people? No, it's not that one, the phone. In my, in my case, the, the second, the second. What is the second one? Uh, I used to swing every day. You or Tricia? Tricia, Tricia. Ah, Tricia. <laughs> so you no, say. Tricia used, used. Uh -huh, yes. So... yes, that's false. I can uh, swing. You can't? No, I can't. Oh, don't worry. I can't drive. And that is, you know, <laughs> that is, I think I, that is worse. Okay. So yesterday I told you, right? To tell me about the story that you started with, yes, I mean, that you present yesterday, but now you are in charge of including extra information by using these two. We're going to start now. Now I will choose the people. Gabriela, please. Gabriela Noemi. Okay. Um, de lo de la historia, me dijo, yeah. ah, que pasa, no se escucha por la tormenta. Ah, okay. okay. Um, long time ago when I was about 17 years old. I remember that I start to record a short video when and when suddenly of a coconut palm. It was very funny watching him moving back and four on him of the coconut palm he was very funny funny having having fun and enjoying the moment i remember that i told him to be careful with himself however he didn't obey me and told me please sister let me have fun then I replied, it's okay, it's up to you. As soon as we were finished. 
Oh. Was it, Gabriela? La love you, love you out loud, and we were very happy that my brother was on on hard. Um, I didn't play the sport. I didn't used to play the sport before, but no, but now I play softball. Excellent, very good. You included the information that I asked. You to do that's really nice, okay, Idalia, and I I think Elena wants to participate again, right? But let's continue with Idalia. Okay, I used to play the piano. I used to watch TV a lot of a lot of before. I used to go to the shore on Sundays. Mm. Finish. Uh, okay, thank you. And Idalia, you don't go to church anymore? What? Uh, now you don't go to church? Yes. Uh, yes, you do, but not all, every single Sunday, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, I would choose somebody else. No volunteers, I would choose the person. Claudia Margarita. Ah, well, Idalia. Okay, Idalia. Now, now you want to continue, right? Idalia. After Idalia, Claudia. Uh, what? Um... My my history. Uh huh. Okay. When I was a child, I liked to play with dolls. I liked to play hide and seek, jumping rock. I was going to the market. I had many friends. I enjoyed with my friends. I used to visit my grandmother. I used to go to the church with my party on Sunday. I used to get up early, early to go to school. I used to work to, I used to read more in the past. I used to have more free time in the past. My parents used to work longer hours. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dalia. Hey. Something that really, uh, that I consider really important uh, for you to have it clear is that when we read the information in the in the web, let me see, let me see if I get it. When we read the information in the web, uh, I discovered that there is something here that you that you need to keep in mind. And you need to have it very clear, as I said before, right? So, this part. Why can't you use the past simple? And look at the answer. He said, well, it is not that you cannot use it. It's actually... Uh, the opposite, you can, of course, but we use, used to, to emphasize that the state or action is not to now or doesn't happen now. Uh, for example, I hear somebody saying, hey, I used to play a uh, jumping rope. Solía jugar a la sarta cuerda. Pero también, fíjense algo, quiero que les quede claro, y por eso me tomo la, el tiempo de pasarme así al español, porque estos son como tips. Si yo digo, I use to play soccer, lo diríamos como yo solía jugar al fútbol. Pero y si lo pongo acá,
Oops. Copy the name. Oh. Exacto. Eso es lo que yo quiero que también tomen en cuenta. Solía jugar y jugaba. Ajá. Pero también play puede significar que yo jugué. Mm. Ajá. Yo jugué al fútbol ayer. Ajá. Y también puede significar yo jugaba al fútbol. Entonces... Mm. Por eso es que esta parte dice, hey, why can you use the, the past simple? Ah, okay. you can use it, sí se puede. Pero en este, hacemos énfasis a que era una actividad que solíamos hacer, pero que ya no hacemos. Okay? So that is, uh, I can say it's a, a, an important point. So I will stop cheating. And let me know, we only have five minutes. So let's do something here. Mm. So, you know, do me the favor to complete the activity. So here tomorrow, I will start the class by 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 talking about it. Oh, well, actually, I think we can finish with this. Hey, we're the, we're, you're gonna, you're gonna choose the, the best option, right? Tell me the first one. Where did Jerry or Jerry grow up? Number one, number two, or number three? Number one. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Why number three and not number one? Because the verb grow is in present. In present. Yes, yes. And the question is in past, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Number two. Did, did Gary uh, have a hobby? Yes. Jerry one, and she still paints today. The first. The first. Jerry is paint and she still paints today. Okay. Number three, choose the best response for this question. What games did you used to play when you were a kid? Second, I used basketball. Second, um, okay. when I was a kid. Okay, number four. What did you use to collect when you were a kid? Third person. And, and I think this is going to be the last one yet. Uh, I work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. from Monday to Friday and Fish. had weekends off. First. 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 Yes, sir? Yes. 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 Amor, right. paz, creer, trabajo. Okay. 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 No, feliz, que uh, okay. So, well, you know, do me the favor to finish this section and tomorrow, remember tomorrow we have classes, right? Mañana tenemos clases. Necesito que estudien uh, el tema de count and uncount nouns. Okay? And expressions of quantity. Si gustan, pueden adelantar con los ejercicios para ir este, avanzando un poquito más con son las actividades que nos pide también la, la plataforma. Ok, esto queda de tarea. Bueno, well, voy a pasar lista. Alejandra María. Aristide Sotoniel. Present teacher. Carlos David. Present teacher. Cesar Iván. Isar. Claudia Margarita. Present. De Lourdes. 
I'm here. <laughs> okay, Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. Present. Gabriela Noemi. Present, Mr. Idalia. Yes, present. Ileana Jeanette. Present teacher. Uh, Ingrid. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Grecia Morena. I'm here. Liliana Dolores. Present. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present Rina, teacher. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. And Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Now, well, I wonder what happened to, to Cesar. Is Cesar over here? Cesar, Cesar, are you here? No, Cesar is not present today. And also Alejandra Maria. Okay, we're going to stop over here. Tienen tarea, ¿sí? Okay. Tienen tarea. Um, uh, me van a investigar cuando porque vamos a ver también la, la vamos a hacer un repaso de la de la pluralización de nombres, ¿ok? Eh, investigar la pluralización irregular de ciertos nombres y aprendérselos, ¿ok? So, por ejemplo, si yo digo un diente en inglés, one tooth. Yo digo dos, two. Como dicen dos dientes. Tu teeth. Ah, tu teeth. Ok, teeth. Si yo digo pie, fruit. Plural de, de foot. Feet. Feet, ok. Ahí hay varios, varios, ok, que hay que tenerlos en cuenta. Child es el singular, el plural. Children. Woman, singular. Plural. Woman. Mm. Women. Women. Okay, women. women. Okay, and so we're gonna we're gonna have some review about it also tomorrow. So we're gonna stay here. Si tienen alguna pregunta, algo que quieran comentar, lo hacen. Y si no, nos vemos el día de mañana. Okay. Okay. okay thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night, thank people. You. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Nice. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone. Okay. Sleep well. <laughs>